Hello all, welcome to part 42 of Cucumber BDD training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how to generate Cucumber XML and JSON reports. So let's get started. In the previous sessions, I showed you how to generate Cucumber HTML report, okay? You see here, Cucumber HTML report as part of the one of the previous sessions, I covered it, okay? Now in this session, I'm going to show you the other type of reports that you can create, okay? Apart from the HTML report, you can also create an XML report and JSON report. But basically, HTML report is enough, guys. As part of an additional topic, I'm covering how to generate this XML and JSON reports in this session, okay? So let me quickly switch to this uh, Eclipse IDE. And here we have the runner class, guys. You see, here we already have provided this statement, okay? Which is going to generate the Cucumber HTML report, you see extension is .html, okay? Let me run this. You'll see that under the target folder at this moment, nothing is there. If I run this, right click run as JNA test. Once uh, this feature files got executed and all, you see class not founder. Okay, so let me right click again. Okay, sometimes it happens. Uh, if I click on different option, I'll just click on, okay, still it's coming, class not found. So what's the problem? Okay. Did I do any mistakes here? Number options, close. SARC test resources, features, step definitions, hooks, and the red all, ready, HTML, and all those stuff. Comma, 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 everything is fine. Okay. I'll update the project once, uh, otherwise, maybe update project. Sometimes things may happen where, you know, we have to update the projects, okay? We'll get some kind of weird kind of errors like this, okay, sometimes. So it's better we update the project and try again. And see, even after updating the project using Maven, still the problems are coming, means we have to investigate further, okay? Otherwise, not required. Right click run as JNA test. Let's see now what will happen. You see the issue got resolved automatically. Sometimes it happens in Cucumber projects, guys. Okay, where you will get that kind of errors, uh, even though everything is fine also, you're getting the error. Just update the project, right click run as Maven update, that's it. Uh, sorry, right click run as Maven update project, that's it, okay? It will be resolved. It got resolved, guys, all the uh, 14, uh, 14 out of 14 scenarios in all these features files got executed with the help of this run class. Now, you see, under the target folder, okay, here HTML colon target is there. Under the target folder, with this name, cucumber report.html with this extension, a report should be generated. Let's expand this and see. Let's refresh once. Okay, let's refresh once better. You see, let's expand this and see cucumber report.html got generated, guys. Okay, with this. This I already covered as part of one of the previous sessions, guys. I'll open this HTML report for you. Right click open with the uh, web browser. It will open in the browser, guys. You can see this is a cucumber HTML report, 100%. Everything is fine. So what uh, what Java version we are using, what Win operating system version we are using, and what uh, Cucumber version we are using, and uh, all the feature files are coming here, you see? Everything is fine. Everything got passed and everything is working fine. Now I'll close this uh, HTML report, guys. So next, what I want to do is, uh, I don't want to generate this Cucumber report dot, uh, dot HTML file directly under the target folder. Rather, I want to put a folder name here. Uh, I want to create that folder name, okay? Cucumber reports, I'll say, because there are multiple type of reports you can generate with Cucumber. So I'll say Cucumber, Cucumber reports, I'll say, slash. That means instead of under the target folder, another folder will be created with the name Cucumber reports. Under that, this Cucumber report.html will be created. Okay, in the next run, it will happen this. So what I will do here is I want to delete this Cucumber report.html. So what we can do is there are multiple ways you can directly right click and say delete, that's one way. And other way is, okay, right click on this project, and uh, say run as and here you will get an option like maven clean just click on this maven clean guys okay automatically it will clear the target folder okay after it is clean automatically it will clear the target folder okay build success cleaning is done refresh this project once you see under target there's no cucumber report now okay now run this right click run as jne test again the same problem came class not form you know what to do right right click on the project Select Maven and update project. Say okay. The problems will be resolved. Okay. So now whenever you get that kind of class not found, you just update the project, guys. Okay. Now right click, 
run as JNIT after updating the project with Maven. Now it will run. So everything got run, guys. Now refresh this project once and uh, expand the target folder. You see Cucumber Reports folder is now created. Under the Cucumber Reports, we got cucumberreport.html. You can again open the same thing. You'll get the same report, guys, whatever we got earlier. But this time we got under a folder, OK? Under a, uh, a subfolder, we got under the target. Under another folder, we got this uh, Cucumber HTML report. This is how the HTML report will look like. But this session is all about generating the Cucumber XML and JSON reports. First, I will show you the JSON reports. Then I'll show you the XML report. So I have to go here. It's very simple, guys. Uh, it's very simple. I can make it to the make it uh, this uh, multiple plugins can be provided here. Okay, separated by comma inside in curly braces. Okay, first plugin is pretty plugin. You know, I explained this pretty plugin in one of the previous sessions. Here, the second plugin is uh, Cucumber HTML report plugin. Now put another comma, guys. Now give one more thing. Two more things also you can give. Here, JSON, JSON colon. If you want to generate a JSON re report, along with this uh, HTML report, if you want to have JSON report, you can write JSON target slash under the Cucumber, under the Cucumber reports folder, Cucumber, Cucumber uh, report dot JSON. Okay, extension should be dot JSON, guys. Okay. And if you want XML also, then in that case, again, comma and uh, you put another double code. Another plugin you have to give that is XML. Uh, instead of XML, you have to write J in it, guys. Okay, you should not write XML there. Okay, for XML, you should write J in it. Say colon target slash cucumber cucumber reports slash cucumber cucumber report dot XML. You have to give here extension. You have to give a XML and uh, type you have to give as J in it, but it will be creating XML report. Okay, like this th three plugins we have. One one plugin is for HTML cucumber report. Another plugin is for uh, JSON Cucumber report. Another plugin is for XML Cucumber report. Like this, three plugins are there, guys. Okay, three plugins are there. Now, you see, before running this runner class, I want to clear this target. What to do? Right click on this project and uh, say run as Maven clean. Once it is, uh, once the build is successful for Maven clean here, it will start the Maven cleaning process. You see, it's cleaning, default clean, and build success. Once it is successful, refresh this project once. And you will see under the target folder, there is nothing now. Okay, it got cleaned. Okay, it's a very simple process to clean the target folder, guys. Now, right click on this test runner and say run as uh, JNIT test. You may get again, um, if you see another class not found exception because we cleaned it, but we have not updated the project with Maven. So for that, we have to say right clicks and say update project, Maven update project, select okay. Okay, otherwise you're not, you're generally, you know, right, uh, when you're getting that uh, class not found exception. Okay. So, now, after updating, now run this, right click run as JNIT test. This time it should run. And we should get all these three types of reports under the target folder. Okay, refresh this project after running and uh, expand this under the Cucumber reports. Now we will get three types of reports. One is HTML Cucumber report. Second one is JSON Cucumber report. Third one is XML Cucumber report. You already know about the HTML report. I'll open it one by one. HTML report will look like this. Okay, HTML. And uh, in the browser, it will open. Okay, in the browser, it will open. What about this uh, uh, next report that is a uh, JSON report? Okay, just double click on this, it will open in the Eclipse ID editor in the form of J JSON here. You can uh, drag it here so that you can see in a proper way. Or you can close this one, close all this stuff. This is a JSON. Uh, it's uh, displaying in a single line, guys. Okay, so what we can do, right click. Uh, It's kind of displayed in a single line for me, the JSON one. Uh, right click. Uh, is there any option we have? Let me check. So we can do one thing, guys. We'll copy this uh, JSON thing, okay? JSON content and go to the one website, okay? Uh, JSON viewer, JSON viewer or something kind of website or JSON beautifier or whatever. Online JSON viewer. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is not the one. Code beautify dot or this is the best one, guys. Code beautify dot or JSON viewer. You can go to this website here and copy that uh, JSON content here. Sorry, I just pasted it two times. Control A, delete and paste it again. Once pasted, it's taking some time to paste somehow. I copy this again. Control A, Control C. Is it pasted here or not? Yeah, it's pasted now, okay? It took some time to paste actually, okay? Once it is pasted, you see on the right side, you can see it in a proper format, guys, okay? Uh, 
tree viewer also uh, tree viewer is there okay you are getting in a tree view because this much content you have to read means that will be very difficult okay or uh, is there any option to beautify actually uh, beautify option is also there guys if you beautify right you see the formatting is not good here okay but here you see you are getting a proper format you can copy this and paste into your eclipse id in the place of that uh, no no i don't know whether we can delete this or not i think we cannot delete this looks like okay no it's not deleting okay that's okay guys we can check here you can see what's came uh timestamp you see the test case which got passed okay scenario got passed login with valid credentials got passed login with uh you see all for every scenario uh, which line and uh, you know all these details are coming it's not giving a it's not a good report you can say json no one will generate json report guys but we should have a knowledge of uh, how to generate json reports in cucumber okay just for knowledge purpose this is good guys it's better to prefer to go with uh you know html reports only but uh cucumber provides you a facility where you can even uh generate the json reports and xml reports i'm just uh explaining this as an additional topics only okay so fine and coming to the xml just double click on this xml and see what's happening with xml is it opening or not let's see double click it's it's opening this part actually so i'll go to the location where this file is available it's better to go to the location guys okay sometimes not in eclipse side it's not uh here also json right click json i am opening first okay right click uh open with more apps and uh, select this uh, notepad actually. Okay, say so, okay. Let's see what's happening. Are we getting the JSON content? You see the disturbed way we are getting. Control A, Control C, and you know, JSON beautiful, you can go and paste. Okay. Uh, how about XML? Right click open with notepad. You see, this is this one is looking good anyhow uh, compared to that one. You see, here also we are getting, you see, uh, the steps are coming and you. Login with valid credentials, the steps are coming, each and every step passing and everything is coming, but still HTML report looks good for me, okay? But here, just for the sake, I am generating the other type of uh, reports, okay? Fine, that's all, okay? So, hope guys, you understood how to generate XML and JSON reports in this session. Uh, in the in one of the previous sessions, we generated Cucumber HTML reports and we can also generate the Cucumber XML and JSON reports also. So, that is covered in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.